Hey guys, in a previous video I showed you how to get a solid 45 frames per second at 90 hertz on Cyberpunk 2077 on Steam Deck OLED. But now with the release of FSR 3, that video has basically become redundant. Here are my FSR 3 graphic settings for Cyberpunk 2077 for Steam Deck. Now the first thing you want to do is on your Steam Deck, on the right hand side you'll see a little button that has three little dots. So click that and then go to the performance menu and then you'll see this button which says use per game profile. So make sure this is turned on. This is just so none of our performance settings impact any other games that might be installed on your Steam Deck. And then go to disable frame limit and make sure this is switched off. And then go to frame limit. Now if you're using an LCD Steam Deck, you can decide to lock your FPS to either 30 or 60. If you're using an OLED Steam Deck, you can choose 30, 45 or 60. I wouldn't even bother going to 90 because you're not going to hit 90 FPS. But FSR 3 is a big jump from FSR 2.1 because previously the maximum we could get was about 45 FPS but with FSR 3 we can now get a lot more than that. Okay so once you've decided on which frame limit you want to lock it to just exit and then go to your video settings in Cyberpunk. And then once you're here go to VSync and then just select which rate you'd like to lock it to. So in this video I'm going to choose 60. But if you're okay gaming at 30 FPS for slightly higher graphic settings, you can also decide to do that here too. But I'm just going to choose 60 because I prefer more smoother gameplay to higher graphics. And then go to max FPS, turn that on, and then go to value and then change it to whichever frame rate you'd like to lock it to. So again, I'm going to choose 60. And then go to windowed mode, you can change this to windowed borderless. And then resolution, I'm going to keep mine to 128720, simply because my dock doesn't seem to recognize 800. But if I was doing this on my Steam Deck, I would choose 128800. If your display supports HDR, I would recommend choosing HDR10 SC RGB. But if none of your displays support HDR, just leave it off and then go to apply and then go to the graphics tab and then go to the quick preset and here you can choose whichever preset you like and I'll explain a little bit about that later on. So for this example I'm just going to choose low and then go to resolution scaling and currently it's set to AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.1. Hover over it and scroll to the right you'll notice it says AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 and that's the new one we want to use. And the next setting down is, so I generally just leave it to auto but you can change it to whatever you want. If you're more interested in speed over graphics, choose performance. If you're okay being somewhat in the middle, choose balanced. If you prefer graphics over performance, choose quality. I generally just leave it to auto and let the system choose my settings for me, but feel free to do whatever. And the final most important piece of the puzzle is frame generation, and you want to switch this on. This is the setting that makes all the difference. So now it's set to AMD FSR frame generation. And then once you're happy with your settings, press apply. Now let's quickly cycle back to quick preset. Make sure you choose the quick preset first and then choose all the uh, super resolution settings afterwards in that order and then hit apply once you're done. Now here's my overview of the settings. If you choose the lowest quick preset, you'll get a solid 60 frames per second on the LCD and OLED Steam Deck. I think previously it was around about 40 to 45, but now we're able to get 60 frames per second on both devices. If you chose the medium preset, Again, you'll get solid 60 frames per second on both your LCD and OLED. If you chose the high quick preset, I would recommend if you're using an LCD Steam Deck, I would cap your frame rate at 30 FPS. On OLED, I would cap it at 45 FPS. If you chose the ultra quick preset, again on LCD, I would cap it at 30 FPS. Now this is kind of amazing because you're able to play ultra graphics on Steam Deck on Cyberpunk at 30 FPS, which is something you couldn't do before. And again, on the OLED, I would cap it to 45 frames per second. If you're using the Steam Deck Quick Preset, on both LCD and OLED, cap it to 60, you'll get a solid frame rate all day long. Now let's go over to the ray tracing presets. If you're using ray tracing low, FSR 3 actually allows you to use the lowest ray tracing setting. But I would recommend capping your LCD and OLED FPS to 30. Now that's where we kind of hit the roof of FSR 3 and to be honest it's kind of phenomenal really. It's, I don't know how they do this magic but it's miles better than FSR 2.1. And to be honest I was actually quite happy with FSR 2.1 but FSR 3 just blows it out of the water. Now when it comes to ray tracing medium, ultra and overdrive, I would not even bother using any of those. You won't be playing a game, you'll be 
viewing a slideshow. Ray tracing medium only allows about 16 frames a second and ray tracing ultra allows about 9 frames a second. I mean, I tested both of them. I even tried testing overdrive, but I was getting like 2 frames a second, so I've saved you the time. Now, I'm just going to leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of medium and ultra for both OLED and LCD.